We humans understand text and images, but models don't. In order for model to understand these text and images and other modalities, we need to convert this text and images in numerical representation called as embeddings or vectors. The models which do these conversions are called as embedding models. These days we have text embedding models, we have vision embedding models, and now we have multi-modal embedding models which can convert both text and images to their respective numerical representation. One such model has just been released called as Nomic Embed Vision version 1. It's an open source model, so not only you can install it in your own organization, but you can also use the hosted version at Nomic Atlas and that is what we are going to see in this video. Before I could show you how you can start using it just through an API and we will also try it out on a couple of images to see how that embedding actually works. Let me give you a bit more overview of this Nomic embed. If you have been following my channel for quite some time, you might have noticed that I already have covered the Nomic's text embedding versions and they were quite good. And now they have announced Nomic embed version version 1 and uh, version 1.5 and both of them are of very high quality fully replicable vision embedding model that share the same latent space as their text versions so all existing nomic embed text embeddings are now multimodal with this in new models you can embed image and text data and when we say embed image and text data it means you can convert them to the numerical representation which is understood by the model you can perform unimodal semantic search with an image and text data set or you, can, you could perform multimodal semantic search across images and text data sets. One of the good things which I found out about this new model is that it has a vision encoder of just 92 million parameters, that's it. So this Nomic Embed Vision is ideal for high volume production use cases alongside the Nomic Embed text which has the encoder of just 137 million parameters. Also you can train them on your own custom data not only on the hosted version here in Nomic Atlas. This is a Nomic Atlas. You can create your free account and once you create your free account you will get a lot of stuff like these total data points. You can get uh, 4000 images max in the free embedding usage plus there is a very generous text embedding API usage. So I just have created my personal account with my personal email as you can see on the top right. And then first thing you would need to do is to just grab your API key from here. I already have created mine today. You can just create your own new one. And then here you can check your usage and you can add your own uh, colleagues there if you like. If you have your own data set, you can upload it from here to chat with it from your model or just simply do the conversion from this console. So just upload your PDF, your images or whatever, and then convert them into embeddings or numerical representation by this console. You can also do the same from API and that is what I'm going to show you shortly. So this is now embedding is also if you don't want to do any of this, you just want to try it out graphically. This is where you can go. This is again the same website. I will drop the link in video description. So on the top left, you see it says that what animals are cute to cuddle with. If you click here and you can just click on find similar data in its data plane data set, it is going to find the similar data and it is going to show you. And you can just select it from here. And on the right hand side, it is going to show you. It is checking it is going to take some time also on the right hand side you can also check out you know um, what is a color scheme you want to keep and all that stuff and it takes a bit of a time you can change your settings and that sort of stuff which i just showed you okay so but instead of doing it from here and waiting for it let me take you to my vs code and then i will show you the code where i have been playing around with it so let me quickly open my VS code and provided you already have grabbed your um, Nomics API key. So just 
set it in your environment so for that once you open your vs code first step you need to do is to do pip install nomic i already have installed it so i'm not going to do it again and then simply do export nomic underscore api underscore key is equal to and put your nomic key here which you just grabbed from their website i already have done it so once you do that then let's import nomic and then numpy get your nomic api key from environment log into nomic and then just put your domain whatever your username is there and then these are the two images which are present on my local system and i will also quickly show you so what i'm doing here is in this command i am using this nomic embed vision model to convert both of these images into embeddings or numerical representation this command shows me how many tokens i have used from their api and then this converts um, the embedding into numpy array then i describe the shape of that embedding embedding itself and then here i am calculating how similar those embeddings are and then printing that similarity this cosine similarity is the value between 0 and 1 1 means identical 0 means very different and if it is in the more closer it is to 1 the more similar the data is the more closer it is to 0 the more different the data is so we will also see how much similar those images are and i will shortly describe what exactly is meant by this shape when we print out this value that will be easy to understand so before i run this let me quickly show you both of these images in the browser so that you will be able to also identify if those image, images are similar or not so this is the first image so this is um, just an australian outback desert where there is a red soil and the other image is also i believe is this the one where is that this is the one so this is also again um, australian outback where but it is not as red but still it's a desert location and this is also the desert location so let's see so images are similar let's see if it uh, the model is able to uh, generate the embeddings and then we will see the embeddings to see if embeddings are correct if they would be similar it means the model has worked right so let's go back to the vs code let me run this i already have set my api key as i mentioned earlier and then i'm running it let's wait for it to come back you don't take too long let me make it here so let me scroll up a little so you see the first thing we were printing is usage that shows that it has used 392 tokens and total tokens were used this this is important because if you are using it in production environment it's a paid thing you would need to know that how many tokens you already have consumed and then this is what it is showing the shape of the embedding so when we say the shape of embeddings what it means is that the output is 2d array with two rows so it means that two means that we have put it in two rows or in other words two images image 5 and image 6 and then 768 means that it is the whole uh, dimensional space and these values are the whatever we will see later on they, they will be the actual dimension so 768 are, is the total dimension of this embeddings so it has taken these many dimensions to represent these images and then this is where we are converting those embeddings to uh, from num by using numpy and this is where we already have printed the shape and then we have printed the embedding so this is the embedding as you can see on your screen these are uh, these values in the array are the actual coordinates in that 768 dimensional space that represent the images and these uh, these are the actual vectors you can say so you can use these vectors so if you compare this vector of image first with this vector of image second then we have used this cosine similarity to compare these and then we are printing this value 0 0.87 0 0.87 is quite closer to 1 so it means that these images are similar because this indicates a strong positive correlation between the two vectors 
meaning that the model has extracted similar features or patterns from both images. So it means that both images share visual similarities. It could be texture, it could be color, it could be composition, it could be layout, it could be lighting conditions, shading, or all in all together. So that is what this image has been represented and this is what this value shows. So and we already saw that it's a desert location, images are similar, so models are quite accurate in this sense. So that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this nomic embed vision i think it's <clears throat> really awesome and if you have a rag pipeline where you use images in order to be augmented with your prompt then i think this is a very very good option if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching